Hello, I'm Teddy Bear, and you're watching Daddy Joe's Treehouse. <laughs> Do you have a teddy bear at home? Or maybe another type of stuffy? Yeah. Sometimes I give teddy bears a big hug. I call them bear hugs. Sometimes when I don't have a teddy bear, I just give myself a hug. Like that. You want to give yourself a hug? Go ahead. Okay, let's watch an episode of Danny Joe's Treehouse. Hi, little bird. How are you today? Today we're going to talk about looking and listening very carefully. I'll see you up there. Hi. Can you come out and play? Won't you come out and play? It's a really great day, day, day. There's so much to see and so much to do. Nature's calling you, you, you. From the blades of the grass to the leaves of the trees, everything's calling you pretty please. Come and discover, look and uncover, what's under every rock. Can you come out and play? Won't you come out and play? It's a really great day, day, day. There's so much to see and so much to do. Nature's calling you, you, you. From the time you were a baby till the time you grow old, each step you take will help you learn and grow. By asking lots of questions and finding different answers, best way to learn is play. So can you come out and play? It's a really great day, and nature is calling you. <laughs> Hi, happy Monday. Welcome back. Glad you're here. I'm excited because I've been practicing something. Practice makes better, you know. My friend Mario, the Maker Magician, taught me how to do some magic a little while ago, and I think I'm getting pretty good at it. You want to see my trick? Yeah, watch really carefully, though. I'll get it. It's in the high bucket. Okay. I've got, with me today, an egg. See? It's blue and yellow. Okay, now watch. I'm going to put it into my hand, and all you have to do is tell me which hand the egg is in. Okay. Okay. Which hand is the egg in? This one or this one? What do you think? This one? Is it this one? Okay, okay, okay. Let's try again. Mix it behind my back. You can do this type of magic trick too. Ready? One, two, three. Okay. Which hand is it in? This hand or this hand? That one this time? Do you see it? You saw it. You were looking closely. Oh, what's this? There's something sticking out of this egg. It's green. You know, with paints, when you mix blue and yellow, you get the color green. Let's see what's inside. It's yarn. There's a lot of it in here. Good morning, little bird. How are you today? Good morning, little bird. You're really on your way. I see you stretching your neck and opening up your eyes. <laughs> Mama's feeding you yummy worms and flies. Blah, blah, blah. Oodle de ah de you. Oodle de ah de Birds of a feather, practice makes better, and I'm so proud of you. Good morning, little bird. How are you today? Good morning, little bird. You're really on your way. I see you standing up tall and opening up your wings. Papa's feeling so proud. He begins to sing. Ooh la di a di you. Ooh la di a di a. Birds of a feather, practice makes better, and I'm so proud of you. One day you'll be flying, and I will be smiling, singing oodala, oodala, yay, yay. Here's the egg, and here's what was inside. It's a bunch of yarn. I love yarn. You can do so many neat things with it. In fact, you know what I want to do with this yarn? I want to make a pom-pom. I love pom-poms. Do you know how to make them? You take your, your two fingers like this, and just really slowly and carefully, you start wrapping it around. Not too tight. You don't want to hurt your fingers. Just slowly wrap it around. I guess I'm going kind of quick. I'm not going slow at all. I'm going fast. 
You can take your time though. Sometimes doing art projects is a good way to slow down and just be, just think about things. The world can be pretty noisy sometimes. And I like to do things that are quiet when it gets too noisy. Okay, now a little extra string. You wrap it around the middle like that. And you tie it in a knot. You might need a little help with this, maybe. Or maybe you can do it by yourself. When I first started doing projects like this, I would ask for help from my grown-ups or from older friends. Okay, got it. So you tie it in a knot like that, see? And then you get some scissors. These are safety scissors. You have to be very careful with scissors. They're pointy and sharp. But the parts where it's folded over, you cut those parts a little bit at a time. Like that. See? Do this side. I like slowing down and making things together with you. Okay. Now we proof it up and look at this. We've got a pom pom. Oops, <laughs> little bits are falling off. It's like the kind that you can put on hats sometimes. Or you could turn this into anything. Really, you know what it kind of reminds me of? It reminds me of the little birds on Danny Joe's treehouse. Yeah. Do you remember last week, Kingsley was being very bossy to the birds, telling them what they had to do. Yeah. I wonder how they feel about that. You can look at the outside and make a guess, but the only way you really know how someone's feeling on the inside is by spending time with them, really listening. Let's let's go downstairs to the playground and let's let's pretend that we are looking very closely and listening very closely to how the little birds are feeling. And while we're doing that, I also want you to keep an eye out for this egg. I'm gonna hide it somewhere down, down in the playground, and you see if you can find it. You ready? very quiet down there, wasn't it? It's okay to be quiet. It's okay to listen. Who did you see? Did, did you find the egg? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Who else did you see downstairs? Do you remember the first thing that you saw? Little bluebird. Hi, little bluebird. This little blue, bluebird's name is Tweet. Hi, Tweet. What else did you see? The little yellow bird with the pink hat. This little bird's name is Peep. Hi, Peep. Tweet and Peep. Mm-hmm. They look kind of the same. But they're different too. How do you think Tweet was feeling? How do you think Peep was feeling? They didn't say how they were feeling. You could only see, you could only watch and make a guess. Last week, Kingsley made his proclamation. He said, only the bluebirds got to fly in the sky. And all the other birds had to stay on the ground. How do you think Tweet is feeling about that? How do you think Peep is feeling about that? The sky belongs to everyone. Lots 
of different feelings inside. Mm -hmm. What are they thinking? What are they feeling? The only way to know what someone's thinking and feeling on the inside is by spending time with them. I'm not giving these birds any words today. But you can use your imagination to guess what they're saying. I want you to think about that tonight. And when we come back tomorrow, we're going to take an even closer look and try to figure it out more. It's okay to be quiet sometimes. It's not goodbye. It's just see you later. Alligator, after a while, crocodile. It's not the end, my dear friend. I'm glad I got to spend this time with you. It's not goodbye. It's just see you later, gator. After a while, after a while, after a while. Crocodile. Think about it. See you later. I like your dinosaur. That's very nice. Where did you get it? Really? Oh, that's nice. May I play with it? Ooh. Ooh. Well, I want to have a dinosaur, too. Ooh. I can pretend to be a dinosaur? Ooh, that's good. I'll do one, too. Roar! Louder? Okay. Roar! Will you do it? Oh my gosh! Hi, little birds! I've got something special today, but it's invisible. What could it be? Meet you upstairs. Hi! Can you come out and play? Won't you come out and play? It's a really great day, day, day. There's so much to see and so much to do. Nature's calling you, you, you. From the blades of the grass to the leaves of the trees, everything's calling you pretty please. Come and discover, look and uncover what's under every rock. Can you come out and play? Won't you come out and play? It's a really great day, day, day. There's so much to see and so much to do. Nature's calling you, you, you. From the time you were a baby till the time you grow old, each step you take will help you learn and grow. By asking lots of questions and finding different answers, best way to learn is play. So can you come out and play? It's a really great day. And nature is calling you. Hi, how are you today? Have you been thinking about the little birds downstairs? About Tweet and Peep and how they're feeling on the inside? Have you been imagining what it must feel like to be them right now? I try to do that with my friends. When I was little, oh, when I was little, I didn't have many friends where I lived. Mm -mm. Sometimes I would get kind of lonely because I was by myself. And so I would play with someone very special, my imaginary friend. Do you have an imaginary friend? They come in pretty handy sometimes. Would you like to meet my imaginary friend? Great. Well, he's in the bucket. Yeah, he's imaginary, so he can write up in a bucket. Get him. And, and I want you to guess what he is. You'll have to look really closely. He's invisible. So you gotta look really closely and use your imagination. And I bet you'll be able to tell what my imaginary friend is. Very gentle. Very gentle. Come here. Come here. Can you tell what my imaginary friend is? <laughs> Ew. Ah, no licking. Down. Down. <laughs> Good boy. Yeah. Can you tell? I'll give you a hint. My imaginary friend has two floppy, soft ears. That's a good guess. And a wet nose. <laughs> and a little pink tongue that likes to kiss down, down. Do you know what it is? It's got paws and a waggly, waggly tail. 
It's a puppy. Yeah, my imaginary friend is a puppy named Tippy. Hi, Tippy. Good. Oh, good boy. Oh, you're a good boy. Yeah. But my imaginary friend could also be a bird. Yeah. Use your imagination and turn my puppy into a bird. Ready? Oh, landed on my finger. Hi, pretty bird. Hi, pretty bird. Flapping your wings. Opening your beak. And now let's turn my imaginary friend into a... Oh. Oh. Purr. Purr. Long tail. And claws that might come out every once in a while. Oh, sorry. There we go. What else could my imaginary friend be? Anything we want. Yeah. Let's go back to a puppy, though. There you are. Hi, Tippy. Yeah. We can make Tippy get bigger. It doesn't have to just be a puppy. Let's make it be a big dog. Use your imagination. Good imagination. Make it a little bit bigger. Ooh, Tippy. You're getting pretty big. You're getting pretty big, boy. Oh, even bigger. Whoa. My puppy's as big as me. Hi, Tippy. Oh, yuck. What a big lit. Big puppy! Too much! Too big! Let's let's make our puppy get smaller again, okay? You got a good big imagination. Let's make our puppy smaller. Come here. Oh sweet tippy. Yeah. I love my imaginary friend. I can tell my imaginary friend anything. Mm -hmm. And I can imagine what my imaginary friend wants to say to me. Yeah, Tippy could be a talking puppy. It's good to have someone to talk to. Mm -hmm. Especially if that someone you're talking to is yourself and your own imagination. Yeah, grown-ups do that. Mm -hmm. We might not always call it an imaginary friend, but grown-ups talk to themselves sometimes when they're feeling a bit overwhelmed. If you really look and listen, you can see it happening sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Dodo, hello. Oh, is that graham cracker? Here, to be here. You go, you go drink some water. Good boy, good boy. Hello, up there. Hello, is anybody home? Is that you, graham cracker? You know it is, there. You know it is. Hello, there. Oh, I haven't seen you in forever. Come here. Good to see. Oh, you're getting older, aren't you? You're getting bigger. <laughs> you always notice stuff like that, Graham Cracker. Well, I've been sticking around for a long time. I looked very carefully, and I listened very carefully, you know. Now, I could have sworn, as I was walking by, I heard some barking up here. You did? Yeah, that's what I heard, a little woof, woof. Well, you know who it was. Who's that? It's Tippy. Oh, Tippy, your imaginary puppy. Yeah, come here, Tippy. Come here, boy. Oh, there you go. Ow, ow, that puppy's licking my face. Ha, <laughs> ha. Good boy. You want a biscuit? You want a doggy biscuit? Here, let me... Daisy, reach into my uh, granny pack there. I think I got a biscuit. You Do you sit? Sit. Good boy. Good boy. Now roll over. Look. Oh, he's good. He's been practicing his tricks. Good boy. Now do a backflip. Whoa, look at that. We got good imaginations, don't we? Yeah, yeah. All right, here's your biscuit. <laughs> oh, you're a hungry puppy. You are a hungry puppy, yeah. Hey, um, Graham Cracker, I was wondering, would you take my imaginary friend Tippy and our friends on a walk outside? Oh, I'd love to, dear. You wanna go for a walk, Tippy? Oh, look at him jumping around. Yeah, of course, here, come here, sweetie. You join us, okay? Let's go for a walk. Let's go see what we can see. Okie dokie, let's go. This will be fun. Let's go outside and see what we can see with Graham Cracker and my imaginary friend, Tippy. Come here, come here. <laughs> come on. Oh, you're a cute little puppy, come on, come on. Come on, watch it. Oh, no, no, don't lick me. Don't you lick me. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Here, wanna play fetch? Okay, I'm gonna pick up the ball here, and I'm gonna throw it on it. Go get it, go get it. Look at him go. Go get it there. Oh, oh, here he comes, here he comes, here he, oh, oh boy, no kisses, no kisses, 
Oh my goodness, you're a good dog. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Here, you jump over me now. Yeah, you jump over me. Ready? One, two, three, jump. Goodness, great. Oh, hello there, little birdie. Hello, peep. Yeah, we're playing with the dog. What's wrong, dear? Oh, you don't want to talk about it? You don't want to talk about it? That's okay, dear. Well, do you want to watch us play with the, the puppy? What puppy? No, there's, it's an imaginary uh, friend puppy, dear. Yeah. Yeah, look, look, look. Watch this. Watch this. Puppy, come here, sweetie. Come here. Go ahead, sit. Good puppy. Good puppy. Now stand up and do the Charleston. That's a dance. Do -do 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 -do. <laughs> it's fun to play pretend, isn't it? Oh. Oh, you're really upset, aren't you, dear? Can you tell me what's going on? Come here. Come on, talk to your gram. Talk to your gram. Come here. Yeah. Tell me all about it. I'll listen. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh, no. No, he didn't, did he? Oh, no, dear. No, the sky belongs to everyone. Yes, it does. Yeah, look at, look at that beautiful blue sky up there. There's plenty of room. There's room for all the birdies. Oh, I'm so upset with that king. I'm so upset with that king. This, the same things keep happening over and over again. I feel like we've already dealt with this, and now it's happening again. You know what I think? You know what I think? I think that sometimes those who want power get a little tricky. Yeah. And they get others to fight with each other. Yeah. So they don't pay attention to what those powerful people are trying to do. They're trying to get more power. Yeah. Yeah, they're trying to divide you, get you guys upset. You don't have to be upset. You can just talk about it, dear. Yes, we can. Come here. Come here, sweetie. I want you to listen to me now, okay? I've been around the block. I've learned some things. Now you listen very carefully. You're the boss of you. You're the boss of you. You take care of your mind and body. Cause you're the boss of you. And he can't tell you what to do. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, speak up for yourself, dear. I'm with you. I am with you. That's right. And so is our buddy. Where's our imaginary friend? There's Dippy. Come here, Dippy. Oh, look at that. Oh, you lick the bird. Go, go, go. Did you like that? Yeah. Come on. Let's go play about it. Come on, dear. You're the boss of you. <laughs> Woof. Woof. Graham Cracker is a very good listener. Yeah. You can listen with your, your ears. You can hear the words and the sounds that are coming out if your body works that way. But you can also look very closely, yeah, to get an idea of how someone's feeling. And Graham Cracker really was looking and listening to how Peep was feeling. How do you think Peep was feeling? Hmm? Oh, hello, Peep. Whoa, whoa, Peep. Hi, hi. Oh, do you not want to talk right now? Maybe a little bit. How are you feeling? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm using my imagination. What do you think Peep's saying? Mm-hmm. Oh. Oh. Well, we can work it out. I think we can I think we can work it out. You can't hear, but you can imagine. Yeah, we'll talk about it more. We'll talk about it more. We'll talk about it more tomorrow. Maybe we'll add some real words to it. Does that sound like fun? I love playing pretend with you. I, oh, oh, hey, Tippy, come here. Oh, good boy, good boy. And you know what, I'd like you to practice. Yeah, I'd like you to practice with an imaginary friend. Yeah, do you have an imaginary friend at home? Well, I can share my imaginary friend. Yeah. Oh, would you like that, Tippy? Yeah, and Tippy can become whatever you want. Tippy can be a different type of animal or a person or a puppet, whatever you want. And you can tell Tippy however you're feeling, whatever you're thinking about. Yeah. Whenever you feel lonely, 
you can have your imaginary friend with you. You are always with you. So here, I'm going to hand Tippy through the screen, okay? I'm going to throw Tippy on the count of three. You don't mind, do you, Tippy? No. Okay, on the count of three, and you catch. Ready? One, two, here he comes. Catch him. Good. Good. Yeah. We can share. It's not goodbye. It's just see you later. Alligator. After a while. Crocodile. It's not the end, my dear friend. I'm glad I got to spend this time with you. It's not goodbye. It's just see you later, gator. After a while. After a while. After a while. Crocodile. See you later. Um, I wanted to share something with you. My imaginary friend is um, 12 feet tall and pink and fuzzy. And her name is Deborah. And <laughs> she's very funny. And um, sometimes we'll go on walks together. And sometimes we'll go swimming, but her fur gets wet. And then we have to go get a blow dryer and blow her hair dry. But <laughs> when we do it, she gets all fuzzy. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that fun? She's not real. She's just pretend. But I, I like pretending. I like just pretending with my imaginary friend. What does your imaginary friend look like? Hi, little birds. Today on Danny Joe's Treehouse, <laughs> we are making a friend. See you up there. Hi! Can you come out and play? Won't you come out and play? It's a really great day, day, day. There's so much to see and so much to do. Nature's calling you, you, you. From the blades of the grass to the leaves of the trees, everything's calling you pretty please. Come and discover, look and uncover what's under every rock. Can you come out and play? Won't you come out and play? It's a really great day, day, day. There's so much to see and so much to do. Nature's calling you, you, you. From the time you were a baby till the time you grow old, each step you take will help you learn and grow. By asking lots of questions and finding different answers, best way to learn is play. So can you come out and play? It's a really great day. Nature is calling you. Hi, how are you today? Oh, I'm excited. We've been playing with our imaginations all week. We've been imagining things that aren't there, and today we're going to imagine with something we can see. With our eyes, I spy. It's in the old high bucket. It's a -da! toilet paper tube. Do you have these at home? These are great. You can do anything with them. I like to do I spy. Looking very closely, or listening very closely. Yeah, you can even turn them into a puppet looking. You put your finger on like that. You can go like this. Yeah. You could maybe draw in some eyes or a mouth. Well, I don't think I have any art supplies with me today. Oh. Do you hear who's coming? Yes. You hear those bells? You know what that means? Yes! I'm the good knight, sweetheart. I'm the good knight, sweetheart. I'm the good knight, sweetheart. Goody, 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 good. Na ha ha ha. He fell asleep. Oh, Ernest is very sleepy. He's been on so many adventures. Let's be very gentle and try to wake him up by saying sweetheart. Ready? One, two, three. Sweetheart. A little bit louder. Sweetheart. What? Did I miss the adventure? Did I miss the adventure? No, Ernest, we're just getting started. We are playing with toilet paper tubes. Oh, those are lovely. I love playing with those. You know, you can turn those into little puppets. No, oh, I know. We were just talking about that. You know, I know that you often have art supplies with you. That's right, yes. I used to carry a sword, you see, um, because I'm a knight. Knights carry swords. But now I use art supplies to help people stop the conflict before it gets started. Yes, yes, I like to resolve things. Calm people down before they lose control. Yes, that's what a good knight does, I think. 
I like that. Do, do you have any art supplies with you right now? Oh, bother. I, I, I don't, actually. I don't. But, you know, your imagination is a good art supply. That's true, yes. I can imagine with, with my mind's eye, two little eyes and a little smiley face. Do you see it with your imagination? I think I do see it. You know, our friends at home are really good at playing pretend. Yesterday, their imaginations made my uh, imaginary friend Tippy grow so big. Do, do you think you could make this toilet paper tube grow up really, really, really big? I think they could do it. Let's try together. Yes. Here, you put it down there on the ground. All right, I'll put it right over here. And then close your eyes and we'll count to three. Ready? Close your eyes now and let's imagine that toilet paper tube is growing and growing. Ready? Close your eyes. One, two, three. Come here. Come here, you big tuby. <laughs> let's name. Oh, my. Your imagination's very good. Hello there, how do you do? I'm the good night earnest sweetheart. What's your name? I'm Tubi. Tubi? Yes, Tubi, because I'm a tube. <laughs> I see you. You do see us. Do you see Tubi? Yeah, I see you with my eyes. <laughs> yeah, I like to look and listen, and I like to ask questions. I like asking questions too. Ask lots, uh, lots of questions and find different answers. The best way to learn is to play. Yeah, I think so too. <laughs> I want to go play outside. Can we play outside? Sure, sure Tubi. We can play outside. I want to play outside too. Let's go on an adventure, Tubi. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. You follow me. Let's go see what we can see. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm Tubi. Okay. <laughs> They're going on an adventure. Do you want to go too? Let's take a look and see where they're going and see what they see. Hello. Hey. My goodness. Now, whoa, whoa. Slow down. Peep, tweet, turn around and look at me. Look at me right now. Now listen. We don't hurt ourselves and we don't hurt anyone. And dot, dot, dot. That's enough of that. I am coming in between you. I want you to listen. Listen now. Instead of hurting, we can draw how we're feeling. I can see you're both very upset, but I do not want you to hurt one another. It's okay to be angry. It is. It's not okay to hurt, though. Now, I'm going to get you some paper, and you can draw how you're feeling. That's a much safer way to show each other how you feel. You know, do you know who's very good at making art, little birds? My friend, Tooby. Tooby! Tubi, come here, Tubi. I'm Tubi. I'm Tubi. Hi. Ooh, it's beautiful here. Hi, birdie. Hello. Ooh, I like it here. I see everything. What's that? What's that? Well, this is the playground, Tubi. I say, what's all this commotion? Oh, my goodness. What is that? Night. Night, quick. Put that thing in the dungeon. Hurry. No, no, no. You don't have to be afraid, Kingsley. This is our friend, Tubi. Hi. Oh, what's in that? What's under that white thing? Oh, that's pretty. No, no, get away from there. Get away from there. Don't look at it. Stop looking at me with those, those eyes. Those eyes, they can see right into my soul. Oh, no, Kingsley. This is a friendly tube. Yeah, I like it here. Oh, I want to look at everything. I want to see everything. What's your name? Where are you from? What is this place? What's underneath that white cloth? I want to know. Which stop asking those questions. He, then it's trying to see me. I don't want you to see me. Well, there's nothing wrong with being seen. I mean, you don't have anything to hide, do you? Well, maybe I do. Maybe I do. Now, do listen to me, Tooby. Yeah, I want to listen to you. You're pretty. You're a cute little kitty. Yes, you are. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. Now, listen, I need you to back away from that secret. Oh, secret. I want to see what's underneath it. No, 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 no. No. I'm very upset. I, I, I'm going to make a royal proclamation. No more Toobies. What? No more, t I can go where I want to go, I'm Tubi. I like to look and see. Yes, yes, I think there's plenty of room on this bridge for everyone. It's not a bridge, it's a wall. I made the wall to keep everyone separated. Blue birds in the sky, all the other birds on the ground. 
Tubby's in the dungeon is what I think. No, no, you now Kingsley, you need to be a kind king. I like it here. I like it. It's exciting. And I like the wall bridge, the bridge wall, the wedge. Oh, let's call it a wedge. Let's call it a wedge. <laughs> I like it. It's funny. Well, that's a pretty good compromise, Tubby. Compromise? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff was going on all at once. Kingsley did not like that Tubi was asking so many questions. Yeah, but I, I really liked how the Goodnight Ernest sweetheart was helping everyone to work through it. it. It felt like people were about to get really upset, but Ernest was able to step in and calm people down so that they could talk and see each other really see. You have a good imagination. You made this little tube get so big. Can you still see Tubi's eyes? I see you. Do you see me? <laughs> little, little mouth. You can make one of these at home. You can use your imaginary friend to talk about how you're feeling and you can make puppets out of things around the house too. I love doing things like that. I spy with my little eye, two eyes and a nose. And I spy with my little eye, your fingers and your toes. And there's something else that's deep inside that I can't quite yet see. But I'll try if you try, together you and me. Take some time to discover all the gifts you have inside. It takes some time to realize you've got nothing to hide. I spy with my little eye your hair and your clothes. I spy with my little eye the freckles on your nose. And there's something else that's deep inside that I can't quite yet see. But I'll try, if you'll try, together, you and me. Be proud of who you are, and be who you're meant to be. <laughs> Ask lots of questions. <laughs> Find different answers. The best way to learn really is to play. It's not goodbye. It's just see you later. Alligator, after a while, crocodile, it's not the end, my dear friend, I'm glad I got to spend this time with you, it's not goodbye, it's just see you later, gator, after a while, after a while, after a while, <laughs> crocodile, oh, I'm so excited for tomorrow, do you know why? Because I know you're going to be there, see you later. What's up, you guys? It's me, Tubi. I'm taking over craft time in Danny Joe's treehouse. DIY! Which we all know stands for doing it. You guys, let's do it. We're going to do craft time together. I love crafts. Do you love crafts? I thought so. But you know what I don't like? I don't like all the rules and regulations of these craft times. I mean, come on, how many steps can there be? How many crepe paper flowers can you possibly do? How many paper plate faces can a person stand? I'm done with it. You know what you need? You know what you want? It's a tube. You just want a tube. So uh, let's do that today. Go get yourself a tube. I'll wait. Okay, are you done? Great. Okay, step one. Put down the toilet paper tube. Put it down and back away slowly. You're doing a good job. Take a breath. I'm proud of you. You're achieving something today. Not many people can say that, but you're on it. So good job for you. Okay, step two. Now that you've got your tube, you want to go out and you want to try to find some googly eyes like these. Now maybe you don't have any googly eyes. That's cool. Just get a crayon. Doesn't matter what color. I don't care. I'm indifferent to it. Just get a crayon and make two eyes. Okay, don't overthink it. Don't overthink it.
think it. We're artists. We're artists. We're feeling it. We're having fun, okay? I feel like I've already kind of walked you through a lot of this. And maybe you know, even just be creative and figure it out. Basically, you want to make two eyes for your tube. I'll wait. Okay, did you hear that? Great, good job. You're on it. You are on it today. Okay, now put put the tube on your fingers and hold it up. And you just made yourself a tubey hand puppet. What's up? What's up? You did it. Okay, well, that's pretty easy. I don't know why Deja you make such a big deal out of it. You're like, I got some stuff to do. Have fun playing with your tubey puppet. I've been tubey. Bye. Hi, little birds. Today, we're talking about speaking up for yourself and speaking up for others when you see something that's not right. It's always okay to talk about it. I'll see you up there. Hi. Can you come out and play? Won't you come out and play? It's a really great day, day, day. There's so much to see and so much to do. Nature's calling you, you, you. From the blades of the grass to the leaves of the trees, everything's calling you pretty please. Come and discover, look and uncover what's under every rock. Can you come out and play? Won't you come out and play? It's a really great day, day, day. There's so much to see and so much to do. Nature's calling you, you, you. From the time you were a baby till the time you grow old, each step you take will help you learn and grow. By asking lots of questions and finding different answers, best way to learn is play. So can you come out and play? It's a really great day. And nature is calling you. Hi, little birds. How are you today? Oh, I'm glad to see you. I'm glad to see you. So much going on. You want to see what I brought in the high bucket? Oh, shit. Oh, the other birds are here. Hi. It's Peep and Tweet, two of my favorite birds. Hi, how are you? Oh, I see. You've made some art. Yes, yes. I know the other day you were with the goodnight Ernest Sweetheart and you were upset with each other. Are you still upset? Oh boy, yeah. And instead of fighting and hurting, Ernest suggested that you draw how you feel. And it looks like you made some drawings. Yeah, may I see what you drew? Okay, this one says, my sky, and it's a picture of you, Tweet, and you're flying up in the sky. My sky. And you drew a picture of you, Peep, I see you with your hat up in the sky. And it says, my sky too. Do you see? Mm -hmm. You know, I think there's room for both of you in the sky. In fact, I know there is. The sky is a big place. Yeah, oh yeah, there's room for all of the birds in the sky. Birdies come in lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of different colors and shapes and sizes. Yeah, and they have different ways of of tweeting and speaking and singing. Yeah. Different thoughts and ideas and feelings. There's room for all of that in the sky. Plenty of room. Do you want to see what I brought in the high bucket? Yeah? I'll show you. I'll show all of you. I brought my crayons. Yeah, so many different colors here. There's even more colors in the world than just these. Do you like to color with crayons? Yeah? Let's pretend we're coloring together. Pick out your favorite color, any color you like, or maybe more than one color. You can have more than one favorite color. Mm -hmm. And hold it up and let's, let's draw on a big piece of paper together. Let's draw the sky. Yeah, what color should the sky be? Sometimes it's blue, but the sky changes colors too. It can be pink sometimes, it can be gray, it can be purple reddish, lots of different things. Yeah, things change. So let's color the sky together. Mm -hmm. Let's put in some clouds. And what else goes in the sky? Big yellow sun. And we can draw peep in the sky and tweet in the sky and lots of other little birds in the sky and, and airplanes in the sky. Yeah, people can fly in the sky in different machines. 
There's lots of room. There's lots of room for everyone. Oh, oh no, oh dear, oh dear. Who's, who is, who's that? It's me, it's Pixie Bell. Can I come upstairs, please? Of course you can, is everything okay? No, no. Oh no, I hope Pixie Bell is okay. Oh dear, oh dear. Pixie Bell, you're shaking, what's? What's wrong? Oh, I've got something to tell you, but I don't want to be a tattletale. Oh, that word, tattletale. Well, you know, I think of it this way. If if you think that someone is about to get hurt or hurt someone else, you can you can tell a grown-up. You can ask for help, always. Oh, I think someone is going to get hurt. I think someone is being hurt. Oh, no. Well, let, listen, why don't you show me what's going on and I will help you. Oh, good. Oh, good. You you come too. It's about you too. Please hurry. Okay, let's let's go together. Will you hold my hand? Yes, of course. Come on, let's go see if we can help. This way. It's this way. It's this way. W what am I looking for, Pixie? Right there. Don't you see? Don't you see it? No, no, no. No, no, no. Nothing to see. Nothing to see. Go away. Go away. Can... Kingsley, what are you what are you hiding? Nothing! Nothing! I have the power! It's my power! No, it's not! No, it's not! What no just calm down, everybody. I can see you're upset, but I don't understand what's happening. It's time to talk about it. I told Danny Joe. <gasps> you tattled on me! You tattletailed on me! Kingsley, if if someone is getting hurt or hurting themselves, it's okay to tell a grown-up. I'm glad that you told me. And now we need to talk about it. Is everyone okay? I'm fine. Thank you for asking. You may go away now. Well, I'm glad you're fine, but is everyone else okay? Yup. Yup. Nothing to see. Go away. Not everyone is okay. You need to show what's underneath. I don't want to show what's inside. It's my power. It's mine. No one was listening to me, so I took the power. Kingsley, what? what's that key for? Nothing. What's underneath that, that cloth there? Nothing! Yes, there is! Yes, there is! I think you should give us the key. How dare you! You can't make me do anything! I'm the king! I'm Kingsley! I'm the most important one here! I'm the boss of you and you and you! We are all the boss of ourselves, Kingsley. And I think it might be time for me to call your mother. My mother? The queen? That's right! That's right! I need some help now. I'm going to call the queen when I go upstairs and tell her what's been going on. I think we all need to talk about it. Oh, no. Uh, don't don't call my mom, Lizzie. No, I'll get in trouble. I'll get in trouble. You might, but we can work through it together. Now it's time to give the key. Oh, all right, fine. Take it. Thank you. I'm upset. I'm upset. You're going to be mad at me. I'm going to my room. I'm going to my throne room, and I'm never coming out. Mm. He's very upset. I don't think he has the control right now. No, I don't think so either. But that right now, the most important thing is to see what's underneath and open it up. Okay, well, let's see what's underneath here. Oh, I do see. It's a bird cage. Yeah, but there's not a bird inside. Look. Oh, it's an it's an egg. Yeah, and and eggs need their grown-ups to stay warm so they can hatch and grow. Kingsley wanted to have the power, so he decided to keep the egg and see what it looked like after it was hatched to decide if it should go up in the sky or stay down. Well, that's not up to Kingsley, is it? No, it's not. It belongs with its its grown-ups. Here you go, birds. You take care of this egg together so it can grow. Yes, it's important. They belong together. Yes, they do. I'm really glad you took the power back. Me too. Oh, me too. Y yes, yes, your majesty. Mm-hmm. Oh, well, I, I don't, I don't think um, Kingsley's bad. I, I just think that he made a bad choice. I'm, I'm worried about Kingsley, and it would be really wonderful if we could talk with you. Maybe next week? 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, a parent-teacher conference. I, I think if we work together, we can we can help Kingsley to grow. Yes, yes, and and the little birds are with their egg again. That that's what's important right now. I agree, Your Majesty. Well, thank you, thank you very much, and we'll we'll talk to you next week. What's that? Y yes, I'm bowing. Goodbye, Your Majesty. Whew, that was exciting. Yeah, and not in the fun, exciting way. A way that made me feel worried inside. How did how did you feel when that was happening downstairs? Yeah. Oh, Kingsley. He's got a lot of growing to do. He wants that power so bad. But the power's not out here. It's not from being loud and strong and taking from others. That's not what makes you powerful. What makes you powerful is up here, where your thoughts and your ideas and your feelings are. There's, there's this other thing that has so many different beautiful names. People have so many different ways of explaining what it is. But it's what's inside. It's what makes us people, human beings. There's so many beautiful ways to be a person. Yeah. And we can help each other. We can be with each other. There's room for all of us. Your thoughts and ideas and your feelings, they don't have a color at all. Your thoughts and ideas and your feelings, can't see those at all. When you stand, when you fall, short, medium, or tall, your thoughts and ideas and your feelings, can't see those at all. We can be proud of the way we look, on the outside, we can be proud of our hair, skin, and eyes. We can be proud the way we look on the outside. Sometimes we all laugh, and sometimes we all cry. Our thoughts and ideas and our feelings, they don't have a color at all. Our thoughts and our ideas and our feelings, we can't see those at all. When we stand, and when we fall, short, medium, or tall, our important thoughts, and our brilliant ideas, and our special feelings, they don't have a size, and they don't have a shape, and they don't have a color at all. The only way we know how someone else is feeling is if we spend time with them, if we're together with them. Yeah. Families belong together. They need each other to take care of one another. And the people in our community, we can take care of one another too. It's important. And I'm glad we're talking about it. I'm glad we're pretending about it today. We can pretend about all kinds of things. We can t pretend about big, big ideas and small ideas. It's, it's all up to us. Uh, tomorrow we're going to have so much fun. Yeah, we're going to play with Allie and Oops. I've been getting lots of pictures from you, and we'll look at those tomorrow. And don't worry, we'll, we'll help Kingsley and the Little Birds even more together. It's not goodbye. It's just see you later. Alligator, after a while, crocodile. It's not the end, my dear friend. I'm glad I got to spend this time with you. It's not goodbye. It's just see you later, gator. After a while, after a while, after a while. Do a big one. Crocodile. See you later. Hi, I'm Teddy Bear, and you're watching Danny Joe's Treehouse. And I hope you like it, because we like making it. Okay, let's see what happens next. Hi, Peep, how are you? Oh, that's great. Hey, you know what I was thinking? I was thinking maybe we could make a craft project with our friend today. You like that idea? Yeah, Peep is a lovely little puppet made out of yarn. Yeah, one of our mommy friends on the other side of the screen made it. Her name's Beth. Yeah, their family's been watching Danny Joe's Treehouse for a long time. She made this little puppet by crocheting it. 
Yeah. Now, I don't know how to crochet, but I do know how to make a pom-pom, and I'm going to teach you. Yeah, I'll teach you too. Got some yarn right here in the old high bucket. Hi. I think we'll use yellow yarn. Do you have yarn at home? Can be any color you want. And if you don't have any yarn today, that's okay. Maybe you can find some other stuff to work with. You've got lots of good ideas. Maybe you'll be inspired by this project. Do things in lots of different ways. I used my safety scissors here. Always be careful, safety scissors. Now what you do is you take your two fingers like this and very gently you start to wrap the yarn around your two fingers. It takes a long time. I like to sing when I'm doing something that takes a long time. Good morning, little bird. How are you today? Good morning, little bird. You're really on your way. I see you stretching your neck and opening up your eyes. Your grown-ups feeding you yummy worms and flies. Oodle la di a di you. Oodle la di a di yay. Birds of a feather, practice makes better, and I'm so proud of you. Now that we've got our loop here, I'm going to take this string, and we're going to go down the middle and tie it up like this. See? Just slide off your fingers real careful. You go right down the middle like this. It's a little tricky. You might take some practice. Practice makes better. But you'll pull it together like that. Wrap the string around the middle a couple of times. You may need a grown-up to help you with this. Or maybe you might want to try to do it all by yourself a couple of times. It might not work the first time. You have to practice. Once you loop it around, you're going to tie it in a knot. That's the tricky part. I still have trouble with that part. See, in a little loop, I'm pulling it together in a knot. I think I'm going to double knot it. Be extra careful, because I don't want it to fall apart. A little loop here. Pull it tight. See? Now to make it fluffy, I'm going to take my safety scissors again. And right on the end here, you can see there's kind of like a loop. We're going to put our scissors into the loop and start cutting a couple strings at a time. Very slowly and very carefully. Be careful not to cut the middle part. You just want to cut the outside parts. See how they kind of come apart and fluff out? Then you do the same thing on the other side. Now we fluff it up. That's the fun part. And we hold it by the string and we've got a little bird puppet. Good morning, little bird. One day you'll be flying and I will be smiling. Singing oodle la, oodle la, yay, yay. I, I thought maybe we could play a game and stretch out a little bit. Yeah, let's do that. Um, okay, Teddy says, stand up if you can. Good. Okay. Teddy says, jump up and down. Good. Teddy says, stop. <laughs> okay. Um, Teddy says, wiggle your fingers. Teddy says, um, scrunch up your nose. Good. Teddy says, take a nap. <laughs> Wake up! <laughs> okay, let's watch another one. Hi, little bird. Oh, I'm excited. Today we're going to visit Allie and Oops again. I got some mail I'm going to share with him. I'll see you up there. Hi! Can you come out and play? Won't you come out and play? It's a really great day, day, day. 
There's so much to see and so much to do. Nature's calling you, you, you. From the blades of the grass to the leaves of the trees, everything's calling you pretty please. Come and discover, look and uncover what's under every rock. Can you come out and play? Won't you come out and play? It's a really great day, day, day. There's so much to see and so much to do. Nature's calling you, you, you. From the time you were a baby till the time you grow old, each step you take will help you learn and grow. By asking lots of questions and finding different answers, best way to learn is play. So can you come out and play? It's a really great day, and nature is calling you. Happy Friday! Oh, I'm excited! Fridays are really fun days at Danny Joe's Treehouse. Yeah, I've been getting lots of drawings from you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you've been coming up with good solutions for Allie and Oops. Yeah, ways to get Allie's best friend chicken to fly in the sky. I've got one right here in the old high bucket. Ooh, here it comes. Airmail. <laughs> here, let's send it along to Allie and Oops. Let's see what they do with it. Ready? One, two, three. Ah, there we go. Ah, how are you there? Ooh. Phone, I gotta make a lighter phone here. All right, let's see what we got. I'm excited. Oh, look at this. Look at this. This is from our friend Flynn. But Oops! Oops, where are you? Oops. Come come see what Flynn made us. Come look at this. Oh, well, Flynn got some good ideas here. Look at that. Look at that. Who's that? Yeah, it's you, Oops. Yeah, and it says, I'm flying. Yeah, you're flying there up in the sky. And you say, Yay! Yay! Yeah! Oh, that's beautiful. And look down here. See down there, Oops? That's the invention. It's a slingshot. Yeah, yeah, slingshots. That's great. What a good idea, Flinny. And there's a little note on the back here. It says, sling. Can you see that? Yeah. Yeah, it says, slingshot. Dear Allie, that's me. And oops. Yeah, it says, directions. That's good. Directions, step by step. Number one, pull back rope in slingshot. Yeah. Number two, let oops climb in. Yeah, you're going to climb in there. Yeah. And then number three, let go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then number four, watch Oops fly up in the sky. I don't know. No, Flynn knows what's going on. Flynn's got a good idea here. And it says, note, be careful Oops may fly into a building. I'm going. Well, just be careful. It says be careful. That's all you got to do with it. Oops. I'm going to put this over here. And if you've got some ideas, draw a picture, send them in. We want to see them. Yeah, okay, yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's try out the slingshot here. You have a seat there. Oops. I don't know. You get ready. You get psyched up. You'll get ready there. All right, I've been outside. I've been gathering up some new berries. I got the grapes. I got, uh, I got some oranges. I got some raspberries. I went... Smushed them, turned them into paints. You can do that too if you don't, you don't go to the store and buy paints. Make your own paints. Make your own paints, you know what I mean? Go out there and you get a stick and you stick it in the, the juice and you just paint it on something. You know, if you don't have paper, that's okay. You know, you can do it and paint it on a tree or something. I don't know. You're a smart kid. You figure it out, all right? Here we go. Slingshot. And here we are. So maybe we get like a big tree. We find a big tree that looks like a Y. Why? Why not? <laughs> it was a good joke. That was a good joke. Okay, there we go. There's the Y there. And we're gonna get a big old piece of rubber band. Big stretchy one. I don't know. Yeah, no, it's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. Look at that. Yeah, this strawberry came in handy. Look at that. Oh, that's nice. There we go. And I'm going to make a little seat there for you. Oopsie. Yeah, a little comfortable spot to sit on there. And then, uh, there we go. Let's, let's paint Oops in the seat. There's Oopsie's head. Oopsie's body. Oopsie's wings. You're going to love it. 
Got to have a positive attitude there. All right, let's get your beaky beak. There we go. A little beaky beak there. Boop. That looks good. And you get your little footies there. No, oh, you look beautiful. Oh, you look excited. You're going to go on a trip. You're going to go on a trip. Are you? Oh, wait, I forgot something very important. Flynn said, watch out for the buildings. So let's make some big old buildings here. Big old hard, hard buildings. Yeah, yeah, big buildings there. Big buildings. Maybe a big one over here. And maybe there's a small building. Maybe there's a nice little house over here. Lots of different types of buildings. Maybe there's a cave like the one I live in. There we go. Okay, cave there. All right. Lots of obstacles. <laughs> no, I'm not enjoying it. No, I just want to make you fly there. Oops, come on, buddy. Let's try this out. Yeah, yeah, ready? Here we go. So we're going to have you sit in the slingshot. Yeah, yeah, now we're going to stretch him back. Ready? Pull with me three times. Pull back real, real hard. Now the count three, let go. One, two, three, let go. Bang. Oh, boy. Sorry, oops. That you all right, buddy? Well, <laughs> I'm sorry, oops. But, you know, let's just get back to the old drawing board. We'll try again next week, okay? Yeah, yeah. Don't be discouraged. We're going to make you fly in the sky. You got some ideas? Send them in to us, okay? Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Oh, they were so close. They were so close. Flynn's slingshot almost worked. It was a good idea. What would you do to get Oops the Chicken to fly in the sky? I know you've got lots of good ideas. You can draw them down, or you can build things. Yeah, or you can play about it with your imaginary friend, or you can make a puppet friend and act it out. There's so many different ways to share how you're feeling on the inside and share your thoughts and ideas. Mm -hmm. I, I like sharing my thoughts and ideas with you through this screen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you ever use screens to talk with friends? Like, like this? Do you know grown-ups with one of these? They come in pretty handy sometimes, but it's just a thing. It's just a tool for sharing thoughts and ideas and feelings with other people. But does this phone, does this screen have thoughts and ideas and feelings? Not the way that you do. No, not the way that I do. A phone can only do what we tell it to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just a thing, just a screen. People are more important than the tools we use. I'm going to put that away for now. And this screen is going to turn off. But you can know that I'm still out there. And I'm a real human being just like you. And I really do care about you. And I can't wait to see you next time. It's not goodbye. It's just see you later. Alligator, after a while. Crocodile, it's not the end. My dear friend, I'm glad I got to spend this time with you. It's not goodbye. It's just see you later, gator. After a while, after a while, after a while. Jump, crocodile. See you later.